When I told my father that I joined the Marines, he said, you won't make it. He said, they're too tough for you. Well, I was going to prove him wrong, and I did prove him wrong. It's just a matter of you know, mentally telling yourself, I'm going to do this. That's all it takes. Each time you get knocked down, you know, you've got to pick yourself back up and say, huh, you know, bring it on, you know, hit me again if you want. I believe in you, and I have only known you for a week. And I'm telling you the truth, you know, I believe you can do it. I believe you can excel in whatever the hell you want to do. Jay is starting to accept why he's never tried at anything. I'm afraid of people seeing me fail because I'm one of those people that never likes to fail and I've, I don't set myself any goals because if I don't set myself any goals, I can't fail, so no one can see it. When Jay's family sent him to Oklahoma, their main hope was that he would find a way to move forward from the family's bereavement. Jay's niece, Molly, uh, was four years coming up for five. Uh, she very suddenly um, had a droopy face. And my daughter took her to the doctors who sent her up to the hospital. Within three weeks of going up to London, Molly died. It devastated us. One week I was sitting on the bed watching a favourite film with her, playing around, having a bit of a play fight, mucking around, and the next week I'm sitting up at King's Hospital and I'm just... I can't explain it. The fit, you feel empty because I believe that she was going to get through it. I built myself up, I built myself up, I built myself up, and then it just didn't come through. That's what knocked me down, and that's kind of why I don't get my hopes up no more. I don't think he's dealt with it at all. I don't even think he's dealt with her being in hospital, the funeral. I think losing Molly has made him think, don't look into the future. There's no point in planning a future because it could all go wrong. It's Jay's last evening with the Whites. Stacy has news from home. We'll let you alone. My darling Jay, where you're going with your life now, we do not know. I, as your mum, want so much more for you. But you need to get a grip and sort your life out. I think you've come to a standstill in your life. You seem to have given up since Molly died. Trust me when I say I want to give up as well, but we all need to carry on. I am not your dad, but I am very proud to call you my son. But all I want you, all I want you to do is achieve the best you can do with the maximum effort coming from you. No, I've just never bothered in life. And I've not wasted my life, but it's beginning to get that way. I thought I was only pissing her off. I didn't think I was actually hurting her like that. I've let him down too many times. I can't do it again. It's not an option no more. <sighs> Jay must now return to his own parents okay. back in England. Very much. Shannon and Stacy hope honorary membership of Kiefer's police department will be a constant reminder of his time in Oklahoma. <sighs> oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it just means that much. You earned it. Thank you for coming into our lives. You didn't give up on yourself. <laughs> They've made me see sense. they made me see things that I wasn't willing to accept. I can do so much more with my life instead of just fucking about.